Okay, hello friends and golf fans. Welcome to the live stream or to YouTube or whichever way you might be catching this. Uh, today we're heading out for the round two final of this Briar Patch Open. Uh, we're on the uh, schedule here because I've got everything up for the coming week. Tomorrow, Monday the 6th, uh, Ogo Pogo Tournament Course for Beheaded Ghosts. Uh, just called that because... Uh, well put together course, but he put some funny stuff in. Uh, you really got to go off the beaten path to find it, but there was actually a, uh, a goat in a guillotine with a bunch of squirrels hanging around watching. It was, it was kind of funny. Uh, I don't know how you play the game. I, I think if you play the usual way, this is something you won't even come across. I think it was on some far corner of it, uh, but uh, it's there. Tuesday the 7th, the X-Files at Bally Mulder E. Uh, Wednesday will be Ram and Putts at the Rams Hill Golf Club, which is supposed to be a LIDAR course. Ram, Rams Hill, Ramming Putts, get it. Uh, which leaves us uh, fry, uh, Thursday. Delta Falls Backyard Course for falling down. Uh, Friday the 10th, we're out at the Brazoria National Course for Brazorian Bogeyland. I don't know why it redacts that. I even put the at sign in there, <clears throat> thinking to fool it, but it didn't want to cooperate. And then uh, next weekend, uh, we got a two-round championship at Muirfield Village, the, the newer light R edition of uh, Muirfield Village for a weekend at Jack's. So that's what we got coming up for the, uh, for the week. All right, so round one yesterday, Saturday the fourth. I just, I just couldn't get anything going. I missed some putts I really, really should have had. Um, not happy with that. Uh, I see we got a few guys out there now. So uh, anyway, let's get out and play our round two at Briar River Club. All right, today's course conditions are very firm fairways to moderate firmness greens. Putting will be fast. We are playing in an afternoon, late cloud, lighting condition. We have a medium wind coming from the west. We're playing to the number one flags, uh, flag set today. So, uh, wish me luck. Haven't had any swings yet today. Uh, let's hope I can get my act together quickly. I don't know, maybe catch up a little bit. Some days you got it, you know, some days you, you got it and you get the breaks and then some days it just, you know, you can't buy a shot, you can't buy a putt and if you can make a mistake, you find a way. All right. So I recall this isn't the greatest course in the world. It was okay, you know. The course itself, I guess, was okay. Just uh, not too much of the other, other attractions of, uh, much done with that. Anyway, the course is loading. Johnny welcomes us. We watch flyovers, yada, yada, yada. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John McCarthy, and I'm giving you all of the welcomes for joining us today here at this event brought to you by the TGC Network. And we've been with you since the beginning for this fourth event of the season. It is now the final round. Let's get down to that first hole tee off. All right, well, it is the Briar River Club, and down there to the left in that kind of valley is uh, the Briar River. Take a look around. It's your Briar River. I don't know. I, I've seen better work all around for, you know, generally for courses. You seem to have a hotel and, and, and a clubhouse kind of thing going on over there. Yeah. I've seen better, I've seen worse, I've just seen, you know, the course itself I don't have any gripes with. Uh, not sure what we should do here. It is a bit of a short course. I think we're going to... See what we can do about not screwing up here. Try to find a fairway here off the tee and then go Sounds from looking there. pretty good so far. Yeah, up against that wind, I, I didn't have a lot of confidence in trying to make some power draw around the trees or anything to fight it. I just didn't see that happening. Yards out. All right. Uh, 
I think we're going to back off to the, the 172 here, let the wind kind of take it away. It looks like a 7 iron. All right, middle of the green. I guess that's going to have to suffice here on the first hole. Fast on the backswing. That added power I probably didn't want, but I got a little bit anyway. Down a foot. 163 on the green speeds. A lot of slope there. This one's about nine feet I away. Should, I should have worked that one a little bit more. Definitely should have worked that a little bit more. But I'll take that. that. I'll take the par save. Had a good read on that. All right, so we got Charlie one over through four today. Marco one under through eight. Tight up top. Jay's in there even through four. It's tight at the top. Uh, I'm still two over. I'd like to make some some inroads into getting under par here for sure. And next up is the par. All right, big boy par five, almost 600 yards out there. Something tells me the wind is still going to fight us from left to right here because the river's still on our left. I'm not sure we can do much here, and uh, yeah. I think we'll find some fairway here. Well, that'd just be a good thing, there, Johnny. Right. We got it out there a long way. The wind did work with us. Chip up maybe or yeah we should be able to should be able to chip a lobby wedge up there whatever stops rolling no nah, all right we might have to flop Gonna stop rolling a little bit. I had to deal off that uh, lob wedge a little bit, but to go here. still should have should have put on a little bit of brakes because it was coming out of that crunchy rough there. So. Have to turn a little bit more at the end, but okay. I guess we're gonna take a par and move on. 
These greens are, yeah, I don't know. And after that hole, he will stay at even power. Some guys doing some nice work there, and they, but they totally go off the, off the rails with the greens. And now let's move to the third hole. The general design, yeah. Extreme elevation changes and slope, you know, on these greens. It just doesn't make for. iron here that could be good i expect that to be good that should kick and roll to the left here right up toward the hall there we go that's exactly what we tried to do and with that he will be putting and this putt is for birdie Okay. Finishing the hole with a right. solid putt. Got under par for the day. I think we're still one over for the whole tournament here so far. Yep. And now the fourth hole. All right. I mean, this is, you know, this, this whole fairway's on a side hill, for crying out loud. I did manage to get it up here to the right side of the fairway here uh, by this bunker, but uh, I don't know if that's going to work out today so much. Leave me down the okay, bottom of the hill here. Pretty good. Yeah, that was the safe and smart way to play it. I'm sure I could have found trouble with the driver there. Okay, and 135 yards to the pin. Going with the nine iron. Yeah, I hit that. I hit that too uh, well and like over that. over Judge of the Wind. Do to it. Thirty-nine foot putt here. Yeah, pin high was not the, and a mile away was not the play here. I will take that. And this one's for par. I mean, I, I'm three feet away here, and it's like, you know, I'm, I gotta. Ooh, inches, inches I away. Hit it too hard. And this one is for the bogey. That's what I mean. I, I put that close. It has, has no has no business being that complicated. Oh my! Land. Oh come that was, on! That was very close. And this for the double bogey. Getting a hole. 
And now we're going to look at the leaderboard. Wow. And I was feeling good about that last hole, too, like maybe I was on to something. It's still tight at the top three there on the podium. Nobody's getting over on this course, so, you know, I shouldn't feel too badly, but, you know, this is this is a day, you know, I'd like to make some good shots and a couple lucky bounces. This would be that day. Now this shot is above the hole. Let's see how they compensate. This is a four iron. No, I, just, I didn't have the right club there. Next putt is going to be an epic one. That's I was hoping sure. I was going to come in hot and help me out and keep rolling, but not so much. That, you know, trying to find a spot in the shadows there. That's tough. 12 feet to go here. Oh, that was so, so close. Yeah, I get, I, I get on these, some of these courses about here. About 5 feet to go they, here. They're just going to beat the crap out of me, and I kind of... Wish I was somewhere else. And that drops for bogey. And now we find ourselves on the sixth hole tee off. All right, this is number one on the stroke index. I mean, there, there, there is little little here that can go right. Oh, this one's looking pretty good. Yeah, that, that wind would, would have totally worked against any, any kind of fancy shot I would have attempted. About 160 yards to the pin here. And going with the six iron. This could be good. It's heading for the green here. Yeah, that's what I mean. I needed some good shots, and so now I need some luck. And this one's for birdie. Well, it's two inches down, but after it's done being two inches down, it's going to be another few down. That needed a good read. <clears throat> Alright, well that's one on the that was a one on the stroke index hole. So you know, we gra we grabbing a birdie out of that is like makes my day. And teeing off on this next hole, the wind could come into play. Let's find out. Uh I think we're heading back to the clubhouse now on the seventh hole. So I imagine that river is now 
to our right. All right, it got her off the green. And I think he will be happy with that. Should turn to the hall. Come on. Uh, I need to go a little farther. And about 10 feet to go here. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Another foot or so there. Maybe that might have kept on rolling. Maybe so. Maybe so. Oh, I didn't hit it. Ah. And this for the par. That was a birdie yeah, opportunity one for the day after that hole. Okay, we find ourselves now in the eighth. But you know, the green, you know, wasn't going to reward anything. You know, it's just. That's the problem with some of these courses there. You know, you. The course itself uh, it forces you into a certain, you know, club, even the long one. And then, because there's no point in laying up. And fairway promising. From two hundred five yards out. Yeah, that's not very good as far as approach shots go. Well, and no, that approach you know, is kind of messed uh, by the wind. That's yeah, crazy. It's almost 500 yards. You know, it, it, by, by right, that <clears throat> could have been a short par five considering how complex the, the fairway is, you know, and how, how complex it is just to get to the green. You know, that's what I mean. It's not just not a great course.
<clears throat> landed at a foot shorter. It might have started yeah, turning a lot quicker. That might be a gimme, you know, as opposed to one I should just make anyway. And a nice putt. So, I mean, that was, and after that, that was a lot of work for a par. Day. And on to the ninth hole. All right, here we are, number nine. Well, there's just no place to put the driver. I think you'll like that. If I thread the needle up there somehow with the driver, it wouldn't, wouldn't have left me anywhere near where I needed to be. like this might be heading for some trouble yeah even with the fast on the follow through there I didn't get any extra distance with that couple feet to the right there and <clears throat> well yeah, <clears throat> might have been a straight like 10 that. footer instead of whatever I got here. Feet to go here yeah that should have been a straight up 10 footer Took it outside the break. And for the par. Nice little pot. Right outside of the break. And plus one on the day after that hole. And that's uh, fifth place for him on the leaderboard. All right, 352, but it's downhill. This could be interesting if there's a shot to be made. Yeah, well, we want to keep it out of the water. I don't mind the bunker, but we want to keep this out of the water. going to be wet. Or maybe not. All right, let's try. All right.
Well, he went out the hour. Oh, come on. Really? I'm just about done with this crummy course. Eleven feet to the cup. Almost, almost. <sighs> Five feet to go here. And the putt will drop. And moving on to the 11th hole. Well, so far so good for this one. from 200 yards away. And that looks like a uh, five iron. And that couldn't have been the uh, intended result on that approach. I have no further sure intentions here today, Johnny. He's been pretty good uh, at hitting the greens and regulation. I have today. no further further intentions today. About 13 feet away. Uh, I need to hit the ball. And this for the bogey. Frustrating, you know, you like to play this game, you like to do well, you're not totally inept. You look for these, you know, <clears throat> user design courses, you know, you check out a couple holes, it seems okay, you know, but, you know, playing a couple holes to check it out but is not indicative of eight, the whole 18 sometimes. And it gets really frustrating. 
Because if you're trying to you know, provide content for your uh, club guys and friends to play, yeah, and you know, putting up some you know, interesting live streams. And yeah, moving Not along good. now on the 12th hole. Come on, new game. I'm just about sick of this one. It's going to be more of the same. I don't know. I just hope it's generally better. Along with the fact that it's also, it has to be playable on the PS5. Whether, whether it looks better or not is... It, Is anybody's like guess? Hybrid is on display here. Whether it's going to look look better is, is yeah. Totally conjecture at this point. It should look better. Okay, he's putting now, and this putt is for birdie. turn come on oh my goodness just missed i didn't hit that so hard it would come out of the break like that and after that hole currently sitting at four over for the day <sighs> well marco finished two under for the day six under for the tournament the other guy's got three to play, so it's not like he's out of it. And now, the 13th hole. And that was a feat. Hitting the green here on this par four right off the tee. Now. Who's in the shadow? There was a spot there and I just couldn't find it. Oh, and it just didn't drop. Same there, everything was in shadow. And yeah, they're about three feet away here. And after that hole, they'll stay right where they are in uh, fifth place. Uh. And now setting up for the par four. And I'm not quite sure here. It could end up in the fairway, though. 
Yeah, or the water. Oh, unfortunate. He's ended up in the water. I'll ruin my club. Watch for the sparks. You know, they put those little things like kind of realistic things in the, in, in the game, and then there's so much more they could have really, really, really done. And from that length, that is just... Just fine work. Yeah, well, it wasn't in shadow. <laughs> yeah, I actually had a decent read up on that. And also, that means he's fifth place on the leaderboard. Of course, I was in the water off the tee, so it don't really matter, do it. I think this one's going to find the short grass. And about 170 yards to the pin. Nothing wrong with that from 19 feet. I got it. Nope. Nope. Oh, that's a hair off my aiming spot, and that's what I missed the hole by. Putt, just doesn't want to drop. That's all right. Okay. Okay, and now let's uh, take a peek and see what's happening on the leaderboard. And after that hole, uh, four over for the day. And for him, that's going to be yeah, a whatever. place on the leaderboard. And now setting up on the par three. Yeah, did some, he did some good stuff here. I just, I don't know. He just ruined it. Yeah, seriously, you got you got to play this like it was. I just got to play this like it's a par four. And he's taking this through some brush here. And to take the right club, you got to hit it through the tree. And uh, that's a. A bit of bad luck. He's in the water here. No, uh, there was uh, that, 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 this is where I was yesterday. No, no, there was no luck. It's just a poorly designed hole. And I've been hearing this next shot is deep in the rough, folks. It's a poorly designed hole.
poorly designed. All right, let's take a peek at the leaderboard now. Uh, I think we end on a par five here, right? If I remember correctly. Yeah. Okay, and moving on to the 17th now. And just absolutely pounded this drive. And about 105 yards to the pin. And I am pretty sure he's going to like that. Ooh, and just inches away from greatness. And for the par. And after that one, currently sitting at five away right. for the day. And All right, finish up it up. Final hole of the round. Finish it up so I can give it one star. He's got to be pleased with that. And about 235 yards to go. And pretty sure he's going to like that. Why would you think, why would you be sure I'm going to like that, Johnny? Why would you think I like, oh, whoa, come on. Why would you think I like this? And this next putt for a final round score of 75. Oh my gracious, that was close. Have you ever watch any of them like Twitch guys there where they, you know, if something goes wrong, they show the memes of the guys getting up and slamming their controllers down and stuff. Yeah, that's that was one of those moments. And they'll uh, tap it in and end the round with a par. All right, well, that's it for uh, today. That's it for the tournament for me. Nothing 
nothing to write home about. Uh, three strokes even worse than yesterday, and that was nothing to write home about. All right, made a hundred coin for my trouble. Yeah, one star. You even say that that one hole cost that one star. All right, here. So one last look at the. Uh, all right, so tomorrow, beheaded goats at Ogopogo. Um, you probably, you probably, whatever which way you play, I think you need a PC with the able to, to be able to do like the Skycam function uh, with the PC on the game. You're even to see see that unless you catch a glimpse of it somewhere in one of the holes. Uh, X Files uh, at Bally Mulder E Tuesday. Ram and Putts on Ramsdale Golf Club on Wednesday. That's a light R. Falling down Thursday at the uh, Delta Falls Backyard. Brazorian Bogey Land at the Brazoria National Course on Friday. Two round championship at Muirfield Village. At uh, Jack's uh, weekend at Jack's, that's uh, Jack Nick Nicholas's uh, course, his home course, whatever in uh, Ohio. It's a light R, so that's what's coming for the week. So, uh, uh, the fantasy world there, how the program groups people separate themselves out really so to uh, uh, back to fantasy, back to fantasy world tea time here. All right, well, that's it for today. We'll uh, we'll see you tomorrow sometime. Take care, be healthy, enjoy the rest of the 4th of July weekend, and keep yourselves safe and uh, do whatever you've been doing to keep it that way. Peace out.